Hi everyone, so in this video today I'm going to go and rapid charge on 150 kilowatt BP pulse charger post software update. So if you've seen my other videos in the last couple of days you will have noticed that uh, I had the software updated by uh, Volvo in Tunbridge and that uh, has brought with it some claimed improvements to things like range and DC charging. Now what will be interesting to do today is to go and try out this charger. I'm aiming to arrive there with um, around 10 to 15 percent and uh, we'll try out the charger and see what kind of speeds we get to see if it's any different from previous experiences on 150 kilowatt chargers. Now I've done quite a few charges on these types. Um, I've used the BP Pulse quite a lot. Other than that I've used Shell, uh, GridServe, uh, Ionity, so I have quite a lot of historical data. Now, the big problem with the BP Pulse in Ashington is it doesn't show kilowatt charging on the display on the machine, and the car itself doesn't show that either. So we have to kind of work back based on the speed that we get in terms of miles per hour. But that'll be fine for this particular video today because we'll still get a good indication, and I can compare that with some previous stuff. So we're gonna head off now. It's a short drive down there. I'm gonna do a little bit of yo-yo driving to try and warm up the battery a bit because what would typically happen is most people would get to these kinds of charges when they've been driving for a while. Uh, normally you probably wouldn't aim to get up in the morning with a cold car and go and charge the rapid charge. You might do, but what I want to do is try and simulate what it would be like if you've been driving on the motorway for an hour or two but this is only 20 minutes away from me. So in order to try and warm the battery I'll do a little bit of the yo-yo driving which is accelerate, regen, accelerate, regen just for a few minutes to try and warm it up a bit and then we'll get charging and see what happens. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I just want to show you something here before we uh, we get there. I've been yo-yo driving a little bit and I've stopped um, while heating up the battery. This is something that's interesting. So you can see here a little bit of grayed out section and a battery percentage of 18%, but we've got one degree. So what you can hopefully see there is that it's one degree on the display, 18%, but we have only a very small grayed out area. Now, um, the grayed out area means that there's a limitation to how much power output the car is capable of producing. And this will start to happen when you get to lower battery percentages. But the two things are linked together, temperature and, and battery percentage. So you could find yourself getting into the car in the morning at 18% on a, a day like today where it's zero, one degree, and actually have a lot of restriction in terms of your maximum power. Or you could do something like, like I've just been doing, and that's warm the battery up properly, and you have less power limitation. Okay, so my idea of getting the battery nice and warm uh, might not have worked out. May have backfired a bit on me, but um, this is one of the things I really want to mention. Um, this is the problem with uh, the charging network. You can see here that uh, it is occupied by two Nissan Leafs at the moment. So um, yeah, this is the thing. I, I try and come to a charging system that has two chargers for exactly this reason, because uh, you know, if you go somewhere that has only one charger and it's occupied, you could be waiting for 40 minutes. Um, and at least this BP Pulse has two 175 kilowatt chargers, but uh, both occupied at the moment by Nissan Leafs. And it's kind of unfortunate because I was talking to one of the owners and he was just about to disconnect and he can't disconnect at the moment from the unit. It's stuck attached to the car. So he's talking to someone who works here as well as uh, talking to customer services on the phone. Um, this isn't something I've had happen to me personally, but uh, I did a quick Google search and yeah, it does seem to occur. Some people have, I'm not saying it's a particular network issue or a car issue, but that is frustrating. I mean, it's probably taken about 10 minutes. I think he might've just got disconnected, but 10 minutes of fiddling around trying to get his leaf disconnected from the charger. But yeah, so the battery's not gonna be as warm as I'd hoped, but yeah, it is what it is. We'll just see what happens. This is a real world test. This is not set up. Uh, this is not a science lab. So we'll get connected as soon as we can and get charging. Okay, so we are charging up now. We are connected up to this uh, 175 kilowatt charger. I'm never sure whether to call it 150 or 175 because the app says 150, but the charging unit says 175. So we're at 70% battery. I started at 16%. I set my timer and our charging speed at the moment is saying around 150 658 miles per hour. Now I'm going to use a, a figure of 2.6 to do my calculations. So uh, from previous battery tests that I've done, 
about 2.6, 2.7, I think is what Polestar used to calculate that number on the on the display. So 159 divided by 2.6 would give us 61 kilowatts. So I'm going to stick with 2.6 for my numbers. Um, please bear in mind that this is not an exact science. This is just an estimate because we don't have the kilowatt display on the car and we don't have it on the charging unit either. I'm going to turn the heating off, um, provided I don't get too cold, <laughs> just because I don't want that to be biased by that. It shouldn't be, but I'll just want to make sure of that. And then I'm going to record everything from 20% onwards and we'll see what kind of charging speeds we get and then compare that to previous data as we go along. So I've spotted something already that makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> on the um, on the screen here, I will, uh, I'll just show you what I'm doing. So on the screen here, this is where you can set your maximum charging, 70%, 80%. So let's say we set this to 80% and then, uh, yeah, that's, that's our charging limit. Now look here on the display, it is showing, uh, completing at 0045. It's 2.35 in the afternoon. That makes absolutely no sense. And if I change this to say 50%, um, that display doesn't change. So yeah, that is, um, <laughs> that's already an error. Look, now complete at zero. 0030 so I don't know where it's getting that kind of data from so uh, that's a bug in the system straight off uh, the bat there Okay, so we have reached 20% and we are looking at 174 miles per hour at uh, 20% so let's um, grab the calculator 174 that's 175 now divided by 2.6 67 kilowatts so we're just approaching 40% now, just on 39, and charging speed's gone up again to 252, which again works out as about 96 kilowatts. But please, as I said earlier, that's not an exact number. Um, that is just an estimate. And what we'll do at the end of this test is we'll have a look on the uh, the charging unit at how many uh, how much juice, how many kilowatt hours were delivered to the car, and then we can work out over time the average charging, which, to be honest, is actually more useful because. Most people are going to be um, thinking more about the average times taken to charge. So say you arrive at a charge with 10, 20%, something like that. You're really probably more interested in how long it takes to get to 80% because 80% is where it really drops off and slows down. That average speed is more useful than the peak number because, yeah, I mean, Polestar might be able to peak at 150 kilowatts in optimal conditions in the summer when it's warm. But if the peak is only for like two or three percent of the battery, that's not really that important. What is more important is probably the average charging speed over the curve so uh, yeah let's see what happens um, once and we'll figure that out at the end okay so that uh, was kind of exciting well in fact it's got even better than that we're uh, showing a charging speed of 290 now I saw 275 and I got excited I thought that was a good thing but at uh, 290 now so um I, I need to just film the the screen so I can actually show and prove that to you yeah 290 at 47 percent so 290 works out as uh, let's just calculate that divided by 2.6 111 so considering the temperature it's three degrees outside and I lost most of the heating element that uh, the preheating that I did from the yo-yoing I think because I was there we are peaked at 300 even better um, so actually I think uh, I'm really impressed with how it's going so far yeah there's 300 again as we approach 50% Okay, so I just got out to have a look and uh, I took a picture of the display. So 16 minutes, we've had 22.138 kilowatt hours delivered, which uh, say you do 72.5 ki uh, kilowatt hours is the total usable battery divided by 22, that's um, 3.2. So that's about a third of the battery. That's just short of a third of the battery delivered in 16 minutes. Um, and what that works out to is we can work that out by going with uh, 22.35 divided by 16 and and then times that by 60, we get an average of 83.8. So that's 83.8 kilowatts is the average charging from, uh, what did I stop at? 16% up to, um, up to the 50% mark. So yeah, that's just interesting to see that amount as we uh, go along. Now what has happened now is it has dropped down a lot, 53% and it's dropped to a charging speed of 222 miles per hour. So 222 divided by 2.6 is just 85. So quite a big change and it was it re happened really quickly, like 48, 49%, it was up at 300 miles per hour. And then it's like, it just, um, I don't know, I don't know how, it, how it's working out what it's doing, but we're showing 420 volts there, but it just kind of dropped off. Um, all of a sudden, almost instantaneously. Okay, so we've reached 60% now and uh, charging speed is hovering around 182, 100, 
83 miles per hour which is 70 kilowatts um, something I have noticed while I'm watching this is that there, this there's definitely not something right on my display I mean obviously the completing it midnight 15 is wrong um, that doesn't make any sense but it also sticks a little bit like I can look back on the on the charging unit and uh, that said 60% whereas this still said 57 and then suddenly it jumped up to 60% so there's something not quite right with the way the sort of the display sticks and then it like it catches up um, and then it seems fine and it ticks along and then it sticks and then jumps ahead so I don't know if that's specific to my car but this is something I'll definitely mention to uh, to Polestar and uh, you know see if that's something that they they get feedback from other vehicles as well so we've reached 75 percent now and the charging speeds gradually tapered off down to 137 miles per hour which is about 53 kilowatts so yeah just a few percent to go till we reach 80 percent and then we'll total it all up and see what the average charging speed was for the whole of this charge so at some point it looks like it uh, fixed its uh, completion time. So now this completes at 15.27, which is in about five minutes. 78% and it rarely drops off now. So like it's showing just uh, 97 miles, which is about 37 kilowatts. Uh, that it rarely reduced in speed at about uh, 77%. But we're almost at 80%. Not not far to go, but uh, yeah, to be honest, it's, it's kind of painful waiting those last few minutes really when, when it gets this slow. Okay, so we've reached 80% battery level now, and uh, that basically, yeah, that took 40 minutes. So I I didn't mention this earlier, but I, I started on that charger over there, and I, I charged for a few percent, but then um, this one became av available. And uh, I've charged on that one before, and I wasn't 100% sure last time when I did a charging video if it was working correctly, because that's something you don't always know. So um, I thought I would swap over onto this one, which um, was the one that I used for some of my previous tests. And uh, yeah, just charge on this. But basically that means that this test is, is from 20% up to 80% in the Polestar 2, and it took 40 minutes. So uh, yeah, that's not too bad, really. The average in terms of kilowatts, we've got 46.7 kilowatt hours, which gives us a uh, 70 kilowatt charging average there for this car today. And I mean, that's that doesn't sound that great but if if we look back at the data and i will put the graph here on the screen for you to see we peaked at um we peaked at 48 percent so close to 50 percent where we had 300 miles per hour which is 115 kilowatts now that to be honest, is actually possibly the best I've seen from this car. So going back on some of my older data, when I charged at GridServe, um, that's again, the, the, their fast charges there, I got 274 miles per hour. And a previous BP Pulse charge here, I got 252. So I think the only one that I got that kind of speed may have been Ionity at one point. Um, but it wasn't anywhere near as cold. Today was by far the coldest. I mean, it's two degrees now. I got here and it was sort of three or four degrees. I did the yo-yo charging, but it didn't work out um, because I ended up sitting here for 15 minutes cooling the car down. So basically we can take that preheating out of the equation. So I would say, um, yeah, that I'm, I'm impressed that I got 115 kilowatts because at two degrees, I think in the summer, there is a good possibility that we will see the, uh, the claimed charging speed. It, it, it is possible. In, under optimal conditions and an average of 70 kilowatts for the entire charge um, I don't really think that's actually that bad what will be interesting now will be to see what I get with the Tesla Model 3 because I've managed to reserve one for next weekend and I'm looking forward to having three days of driving that uh, and, and it's going to be interesting to see what I can get from that now my plan is to come back here to this exact same charger and uh, use it here not just on the Tesla supercharger because most people of course are going to be using that but just to compare like for like to see what the average charging speed is um with the tesla compared to the polestar so yeah you know i will um i will show i'll put some of the data on the screen here just at the end of the video so you can see the graph but this by far was the most successful and fastest charging that i've achieved so far with the highest peak um, of 115 kilowatts estimated um, and and that is good to see so it could be uh, a result of the software update that we're seeing that because this is actually slightly worse charging conditions um, today being so cold so i really hope this has been a useful video someone's someone's alarms going off in the background um, i hope this has been a useful video and uh, there'll be more to come and hopefully some interesting comparisons with the tesla next weekend so yes thank you for watching and if you could please subscribe down below that would be much appreciated and uh, like to hear people's thoughts as well on on charging and uh, any comments down below thanks and i'll be back again with another video very soon